Hello everyone and welcome back to Shanka Show. This is episode 11, our review of the criminal case uh, or criminal file of Kulikov Antonina, who got in trouble with the Soviet State Security MGB, Ministry of State Security, back in 1948. Uh, she worked as a secret agent, secret informant for the MGB and she told people that she was spying on that she worked for state security and she got in trouble. I hope today we're going to wrap up this story. There is a, some pages still left and I already got an angry comment. Uh, someone got uh, sick and tired of seeing exactly the same uh, thumbnail for my videos about um, this case, but I honestly, I don't have enough um, imagination to come up with anything else uh, to present this story. So we're we'll just going to stay with the pictures of these files and the photo of Antonina herself. All right, so our next document is page number 38, the so-called Spravka. All my life I grew up with this Spravka, so that's kind of like a note from someone. For example, if you skip school, you better bring a Spravka from your doctor that informs that, yes, this person indeed was uh, sick. So this note, it says, uh, it was given as a confirmation that the cell camera where... Um, ZK, that's another uh, popular abbreviation, <laughs> unfortunately, in the Soviet Union, ZK is a Zaklyuchonny. So that's the person that um, got arrested and placed into prison. So it's not convict, I don't think. So this is when you get arrested and you sit in prison or jail, you become Zaklyuchonny, so locked up person. So it confirms that the um, cell where Kulikov Antonina, uh, born 1921, uh, so that cell was on quarantine, uh, which means there was some kind of flu or some kind of disease, contagious disease going on among people who were uh, sitting in that cell. So between July 8 and July 15, uh, due to that quarantine, uh, she was not available uh, to be called for interrogation. Uh, so doesn't specify what exactly was going on in that cell, but we now learn that she wasn't in a single cell person. She, she was a bunch of people in the same cell and they all got sick. And it's signed by uh, Secretary, I'm not sure of what, MVD Estonia. And it's the junior lieutenant. So we didn't hear junior lieutenants yet. So this was issued on 16, July 16 of 1948. And just a quick close shot of the ink stamp of MGB of Estonia. So this is a so-called GERB. So that's the symbol of Estonian Soviet Socialist Republic. That's how it looked. Next document in this file, page 39, is so-called Raspiska. So that's like a confirmation. So uh, me, sister of arrested Kulikov Antonina, and the sister's name was Baradina Nadezhda. Uh, so she uh, confirmed that she received from the investigator department of MGB of Estonia uh, savings book. So that's the, uh, she had a savings account number 6732 that belonged to the arrested Kulikova uh, with the amount of money 50 rubles and 8 kopecks and it's signed by uh, her sister so all the money she had on account was 50 rubles and back in 1948 unfortunately I didn't do my homework but it's not a lot of money it's definitely she barely had like I don't know less than a monthly salary saved on her account so not much at all All right, so we're getting uh, to the one of the most curious documents. So this is page 40, uh, Protocol of Akanchani Slesvi. So that's the, oh, I don't know how to translate protocol, but this is kind of confirms that the investigation was uh, concluded. So on July 16, 1948, I, the investigator of the investigator's department, once again, it's the old paperwork, so it used to be uncovered NKGB, so he just put M, M. Gebe here, Senior Lieutenant Nikolaev, 
he reviewed the uh, investigating case of file number 9902 uh, that uh, Kulikov Antonina was uh, obvinenia indicted in crimes according to the article 121 of criminal case of the Russian Soviet Federation and uh, confirming that initial investigation is completed and uh, all the in, uh, I don't say proof so all the everything they found was enough to move it further towards the court. Um, according to the Article 206 of Criminal uh, Code, so said we told that to the lady and show her the paperwork, and they convicted um, Kulikova. She looked at the paperwork uh, for one hour uh, she basically looked at everything doesn't have any complaints and uh, she got uh, 38 pages that she read through and she signed that paper once again famous z and she wrote it earlier so they crossed out that should be her signature right here and then senior investigator nikolaev and there's another signature Pomochnik, uh, so it's a helper of the Vayanne Prokuror. I don't know, this guy for some reason says Leninskova Okruga, so this is some Podpolkovnik, uh, so almost like a colonel of jurisdiction Tarna Rutsky. So this pretty much kind of conclusion of the investigation and the final paperwork protocol. The investigation is completed and it's ready to go for the court. And this is interesting. So that's a Medicinska Spravka. So it's like a medical note. It was actually glued later, looks like it. So it was added later. So they issued for the arrested Kulikov Antonina, born in 1921 that according uh, to her health, she is uh, healthy enough for the physical labor. So they're already pretty much getting her ready for to be sent to the labor camp. So here it's confirmed that she is good to work uh, first, second, third, and the fourth category of labor. So she is healthy. Not a good news for her, of course. And it's already, this the Medicinska Spravka, so this uh, half note is from already prison, prison number one in Tallinn. And it said that she was on quarantine, so that's kind of when you uh, close the cell because she was sick till July uh, 15, and it was issued on July 14. So she is healthy to work at the labor camps. Okay, so we're getting close to the finish line. Uh, so this is Advinitelne Zaklutenia, so that's the conclusion. Um, so it's indictment, pretty much. Uh, according to the investigating case number 902 for Kulikov Antonina. And it's Utvirdino, uh, so it's confirmed by the Minister of State Security of Estonian Soviet Social Republic, General Major, Kum, so K U M M. So he confirmed on July 16, 1948. So let's see what it says. So the by the Ministry of the State Security of Estonian uh, Republic on so on May 12, 1948, uh, sh, uh, this lady was arrested and prepčilenaku zavnone atvesnosti. So she was arrested and criminally investigated. Uh, during investigation, on this case, it was concluded that uh, Kulikova, while being a secret um, сотрудник, so secret uh, agent of the state security, and having a job or task uh, to discover uh, criminal anti-Soviet activity of the citizens 
Valguste Yuhanyanovich, so this is the people that she was tasked with to spy on, Pritel Yekaterina, Tents Elizaveta, Shlupin Alexandra and others, which uh, were members of underground anti-Soviet religious organization named Soyuz Yedinenia Va Christia, so it's the, the Union of Uniting in Christ, purposely deciphered herself uh, in front of the active member of this organization, Tens Elizaveta, uh, and telling her about uh, getting by her, Kulikova, the task of the state security about investigating of anti-Soviet activities of members of this uh, religious organization. So, Tens Elizaveta, knowing about uh, the situation, she warned the members of their union. As a result, Kulikova became, once again, <laughs> deciphered, Rashifrovana, uh, for all the members of the uh, underground anti-Soviet religious organization, Union and Christ. Besides that, Kulikova told about her secret cooperation with state security uh, to her uh, apartment owner, Nikifra Maria Georgievna. So we talk about it. She also had to do give um, information and its pages mentioned. So when she was the uh, Prussiana, so when she was interrogated, uh, Kulikova Antonina admitted uh, its guilt on the page 22. Besides that, uh, she was also was confirmed by the people that also were interrogated, tents, a Valgust, another Valgust, that's a, a spouse, and the witness Nikiforova. So, based on all this information, the Kulikova Antonina Ivanovna, she's been it's uh, telling her that uh, she uh, committed following crimes. And while we're still on this page, so this says you need to enter this paperwork into the file. And here it says, I agree with sending this case to special so it's not even a court, it's a special um, meeting. And uh, the punishment, according to the Article 121, uh, to be set as three years of... I'm not sure what it is, not she got labor camps. So this is what um, the Procuror, the guy who made the decision that... Uh, Concluded on this case, three years of labor camps. Let's see, this is, there's has a second page yet. All right, so we continue, page 42, so that's still a description of her, that she, and not a party member, originally from the poor peasants, um, nine year education, and she wasn't uh, getting in trouble with law before. A single, uh, she worked as a laboratory helper, in the lab of the main hospital of uh, Northern Baltic Fleet and lived in town in Tallinn. So she is um, being a secret uh, agent of the state security. She went on the way of double hand handing or double handling. So she was working on both ways, purposely decipher herself in front of people that were doing anti-Soviet activity, telling them about what kind of, um, you know, things she's supposed to do, which means that's the crimes, according to the Article 121 of Criminal Case of Russian Federation. Uh, considering the investigation is completed and uh, all the materials that they found enough to uh, take it to the uh, judge or court, according to Article 208, once again, Russian Federation, uh, this case of 9902 uh, to be sent to the military. I don't know how to translate the word procuror. So this is the main guy. 
so she is going through actually uh, it's the uh, troops of the like police department she's not going through like regular uh, court uh, it's a military procuror and says uh, I would suggest uh, punishment for Kulikova five years of исправительно трудовые работы so it's another e uh, so it's a, you're gonna be better by working so you will get fixed исправиться you will get better by hard labor so it's исправительная трудовая работа and we had so called ETL исправительно трудовые лагеря so it's the uh, labor fixing camps uh, so she, they recommended five years but in the end she got only only three years and it's signed by Nikolaev, senior lieutenant, another senior lieutenant, Ryan Rub, agreed by Major Jakobson. Uh, one of my subscribers, actually, there's a uh, Wikipedia page for Jakobson. I will post it in the comment section below uh, this video. Uh, he was a bad guy. And he managed to live all the way to the 90s. And then they have a little note here that she was arrested on May 12th and she was in prison number one since then. Uh, she doesn't have any, they don't have any physical evidence in this case. And all the personal documents attached in a, sp in a separate package and it's signed again by Nikolaev. All right, so we are almost there, my goodness. So there is another spravka, it's page 43. So according to her, um, what's the word, Pakazania, so whatever she mentioned during this investigation with Kulikov Antonina, so based on her information, as the members of underground anti-Soviet organization Union in Christ, Valguste Yuhan Yanovich, uh, can't read the last name here. So there is a one, two, three, four, five people uh, were arrested and also привлечены к уголовной ответственности. So this is the case number nine nine zero zero. So we have another five people. Uh, based on her information, they arrested them. And once again, it's signed by another guy. So as I said, this. If you don't report, you also get in trouble. And we have another spravka, another side note. So the personal documents of Kulikova, her passport was uh, remained in Department A of MGB of Estonia. Sign here. So this is actually an envelope, but it's empty. There's nothing in there. Uh, so I'm not sure what used to be there. And I've seen, okay, I have to take it apart again, can flip the page really well. Okay, so if you research anything on the topic of Gulag or Stalin era people being arrested, this is the, a lot of this, uh, similar forms, you will see this is standard выписка из протокола, number 35. Особого совещания при министре государственной безопасности Союза СССР. So, this is like a special so there's like a meeting. So it's not really a court when you have a lawyer. It's just sometimes just three guys. Uh, they make decision about your fate. And this is like a, uh, their decision in a short form what they decided on. So so they listen to so slushally. And that's in happened on August 28. Uh, so that was a number one and a two case number nine nine zero two of MGB of Estonia for Kulikov Antonina and that was convicted on article 121 of criminal case of uh, Russian Federation and they made decision uh, so Kulikova Antonina for telling other people secrets and she not supposed to you know, tell uh, to lock her up and uh, so there you go. So this labor camp that's supposed to fix you is private for three years. And you start counting the 
term from the May 12, 1948, when she was arrested. So that's the, pretty much the final document, the ending of this investigation. And here is that ink stamp of the Asobaya Savishania special meeting. So no courts, no lawyers. It's just special meeting of several people that will decide what you're going to do for the next 5 to 10 years. There also was this little envelope that says Paket для председателя особенно совещания. So it's like a, a packet or package for the chairman of the special meeting. And it's supposed to have inside, looks like характеристика на двух листах. So it's uh, her uh, almost like a personal uh, file that, you know, it's when you write about yourself, like, you know, when I was born, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but anyway, uh, there's nothing inside, unfortunately. But it was also sealed. So that's also there, but it's empty. This file also contained this interesting document. So this is a more modern days. It's actually, I believe, from like 1989. Uh, so it says, uh, request. Uh, so Kulikova Antonina Petrovna. And it's her address. It's all information we knew. And this is request for to verify. So she needs a document or some one of her relatives needs a document ob освобождении. So they need to have a, a document confirming that she uh, was freed from the camp. Uh, there's no more additional information. It's just, so this is what relatives could request if they don't know what happened, or maybe she's trying to get a job or something else. But this is, uh, look like the date is 1989. I'm not sure, but it says uh, what happened, the result is the check-in. There is no information about освобождение or death. So there's no, they couldn't locate any information about her uh, leaving the camp after the her three years or any documents about her death at camp. So unfortunately, we don't know anything. And I was trying to Google her name and there's nothing came up ever. It looks like 1989, October. So someone requested information about her, maybe some of her relatives, but there was no confirmation. They neither can confirm that she survived the camp or neither can confirm that she died. Okay, my friends, so this concludes our review of the criminal case for Kulikov and Tanina, who end up going to labor camps that's supposed to make her a better person for three years, and unfortunately we have no idea what happened to her. Most likely she perished. And uh, so we're going to take a break after this uh, video, because I have more files, of course, to go through. I purchased like five of them, so there's more uh, cases, most of them from Estonia, once again. But for right now, we're just going to... Go back to the stories about life in the Soviet Union and maybe in a month or so we'll start working to the next case. Thank you so much for watching the Shanka show. We'll talk to you soon. До свидания. Goodbye.